Hello everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Tom and Britta. Today we're going to make homemade ice cream. Um, Britta's kind of driving, she's my sister, she's kind of driving the show here. I don't know what's going on, I'm just here for annoyance. And um, homemade ice cream is a great thing. You make it out of like milk and you know very basic stuff. There's a bunch of recipes. This is just one we found online. Um, turns out really good. Not a lot of effort goes into it, but it does take time. Like it has to refreeze and then recrystallize or whatever. So we'll try and go over all of that. Um, and Britta, what's the first step? The first step is mixing together the cornstarch and sugar in our pan that we're going to use over the stove. So we have our pan here. It's two tablespoons of cornstarch. Just a brand new cornstarch. and then one cup of sugar. All right, that goes into the pan, and you want to take your whisk and stir it so you've got a nice homogenous mixture. What about a flocculation? Any concern about that? Of what? Flocculation or emulsification? No. Okay. None with this recipe. This is also gelato. I turned that on already. Oh, okay. Should I turn it off? No, that's fine. This is also gelato, so there are no eggs or anything in it. It is um, two cups of whipping cream. Seattle has these cute little milk bottles that you can buy. Twin ice creamery. I don't know how to open either. It's got a little towel. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. So this cute little one is already two cups. Makes it simple enough. And you just want to whisk that in. Alright, that's all the heavy cream. This recipe also calls for two cups of whole milk. Is it frozen? Or is it just... It seems it... to be coagulated on the top. <laughs> Can you stop it? I think so. And again, whisk that in. And then it heats over the stove continuously until it starts to simmer. You don't want to see actual boiling bubbles, just where it starts to bubble around the outside. So what do we, what happens after this? Like, so that just cooks and then it cools again? No, you cook it um, until it kind of starts to get bubbly. So it takes a while and the cornstarch in there kind of corn thickens starches. it. Yeah, cornstarches. And then you put it in the heat proof bowl, our stainless steel bowl over there. And you add the mint sprigs to it and it steeps like tea. And then you, um, the mint sprigs only stay in for five minutes, otherwise they will turn bitter. So then you take the mint leaves out, and then you take this mixture and um, put it over ice for five minutes so it kind of cools down a little bit slower. Oh, okay. And then you put it in the fridge for, I think, three to four hours. I mean, it's getting more bubbly. The Prosecco? Or this? Oh, no, this isn't. Those are just bubbles from whiskey. I 
that's enough guitaring for now. Ow! <laughs> It's like a bartender. You wanna discover this thing? <laughs> okay. Actually, I think that's a dad joke. Like, we were, I was watching him cook and I was like, Dad, how do you do that like that? And I was like, oh, when you're a teenager, you understand. And he was like, oh, okay. Ew! You tell him about that. So the milk mixture has reached an appropriate temperature. So we're gonna take fresh mint sprigs. And it calls for six of them. Um, listen to the six sprigs, don't add more. So, um, it gets very minty. Almost the entire package, but I'm not gonna add any extra this time. So the mint sprigs are sitting in there. Um, I'm gonna put down this towel for a little bit of hot pad because we're gonna put super hot. There's trivets by the knife block too. Oh, are there? Oh, right there. Okay. Super. So we're going to put the mint into or onto that. Um, and then you take the milk mixture and all you do is pour it over it and it's going to steep just like a tea. Oops. Oh my God. So we're going to get all that out of there. And then you're gonna wanna mix this every couple minutes and it only sits for five minutes, or probably you, stir it every minute. Do you need a strainer? No, um, you can use a strainer. I just scooped the sprigs out because they're whole. Um, but you don't wanna leave the mint in too long because it will become bitter flavored instead of the good mint flavor that you want. So no longer than five minutes in there. And then the chocolate goes in there as well? Not until we, mm. this has to cool for like three to four hours. And then um, when you're ready, you put this in the ice cream maker and it starts churning and it gets cold. And after it churns for like five minutes, um, you have the chocolate melting and then you drizzle the chocolate into the oh. um, mixer and it just kind of flakes off into little bits. So that's where you get the mint chip. Um, and it doesn't just turn into chocolate ice cream because this has been cooled enough by that point. Cool. It was cool. I was missed. So also during the time this is steeping, you want to create an ice bath. <laughs> that wasn't creepy or anything. <laughs> so it's been five minutes. So I'm gonna take the mint leaves out so that it does not turn bitter on us. And now we're gonna take it and put it into the ice bath. And just let it cool down more towards room temperature instead of being at 166 degrees. Um, and then, and then once it gets to room temperature, we'll put it in the fridge where it will cool to three to four hours before we start the next step, which is churning and adding the chocolate. Gelato mixture has been cooling for three hours and we're back. I have some 70% cocoa um, dark chocolate here. Uh, this is a... Um, four ounce bar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and melt all of this in a pan. I have a double boiler situation worked up here. So there's a pan of water and I'm putting a glass bowl over it. Not exactly how it's supposed to be, but we'll live. Um, so I'm just gonna break this chocolate up into some pieces so that it kind of melts evenly. And once this is done, it heats on the stove over about medium heat until um, it's all melted. Okay, so the chocolate is just finishing melting. There's a couple little chunks left in there. Um, so I'm just gonna stir those up really well until it's all melted. And then we're gonna take this out of here and just set it aside for now. We want the chocolate to kind of cool down 
take the mixture of the mint gelato that we've already made, turn the mixer on, and then we're just gonna pour this in to the mixer. So we'll just let it churn for about 10 minutes, um, and then we'll add the chocolate in after at that point. 24 ish degrees. So the ice cream has, um, or the gelato, has become thicker at this point and so now we've got the chocolate melted here it's cooled down so it's cool to the touch um, but as you can see it's still liquid so we're gonna just kind of slowly drizzle that into the ice cream and it just kind of flakes off just want to make it a thin drizzle going in there that churns in it's just going to flake.